Hi, it's Joy, and today I'm going to be watching Supergirl Season 5, Episode 18, The Missing Link. I am going to freeze where the show is going to go next with kind of... I feel like we've been building so much with the Leviathan and with um, Leela and Lex and with um, Obsidian Tech that I kind of don't know what the big bad is and where we're going. And it's kind of felt like a little bit it's been dragging a little bit, but I feel like we're finally sort of ramping into things and I'm very excited. So yes, let's go. And I really miss Kara. There wasn't enough of her last week, so more Kara, please. Yes, let's go. Is it going to go wrong? Oh, it's reactivated his aggression. Made him unable to cope with it. Ooh. Good job, Lena. 10 out of 10. Level intellect. Did you really think I wouldn't connect You've to not us? been doing a brilliant job so far. Okay, I, I, I know I cannot get that invitation unless... Brainy, you're working with Lex. Side. What are you that expecting? I've been telling you this from day one. He is not worth died. working with. Yes, exactly. Why would Lex care? Jean is out scanning for any other Yay, Miguel's still around. Right that now. makes me happy. Where there is smoke, there is a loop. Yes, right now, exactly. We have no reason to believe that Lena is involved with Leviathan. We have no reason to believe she isn't. Okay. So let's start with something that we It do. is suspicious. You would suspect her because she arrived with it. Obviously, Lena didn't know about that. Lena's just being played as Lex's fool the whole time. Her. See if I can't dream Leviathan's new headquarters. Good. Out of context, that would sound so weird. You know, like we're all making our big plans of what we're gonna do. And one person, we can hope. Um, one person goes, I'm gonna dream it. You would be like, really? Sorry, I just tickled me a bit. Steve's monetary directive is still intact. So, I'm still brainwashing him successfully. We can fix one broken inmate. Because Lena can't do it by herself. We owe it to our users. But capitalism cares about money more than users. So unless you have, she spent a lot of time growing up in foreign countries. And they are very dangerous. No, I'm reassured. Sure. I know where to start. Fluther found it just wasting away in a chilly place that you know quite well. <sighs> oh, so Predict where Leviathan is now. I love Leviathan. They were like, we'll make a crop circle. Now we'll send the locusts. <laughs> Why would you go to the library to do that? The desire to be in a new reality, to, to live in a world yep. that's a little less complicated. Yep. <laughs> And it, and it makes me so angry. I, I just, I want to... See, Kara thinking Lena's working on the right then makes perfect sense with the information she's got. She hasn't have to, to make any leaps with how she's acting. And with the fact that the um, person, the alien that released the Sunseeker right came with Lena, etc, etc, etc. connected to my experience, that means that we're on the right path. But it also means he's now in danger. Who's next? Oh. Yep. He'll be next, and then he'll be next, and then. I'm really glad you're here now. Me too. Evolution is a bitch. Great job. Could not have seen that coming. Okay, you can do this, Dreamer. Cats love me for some reason. Of course they do. Uh, but this this one he gets red flag. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Should we provide backup? Nah. Come on, Brainy. Yes. Thank you, Brainy. They would see Lena and be like, you did this to me! He's gonna get triggered! Oh dear, or he's just gonna get killed. Well now they're after you, good job Lex. Part of his plan. Thank you for the assistance, we'll take it from here. Assistance? We yeah. found him. We they did everything. Literally not. everything. Is the deep. Ramakan comes with me. No wonder, that's the only reason so Brainy helped. Right. I told you that guy was gonna probably die. Could you imagine you come to like the library of Congress and you come back to find your car's bullet holes in it? Reading is dangerous, kids. Interrogation will be eighty-five percent more successful without you in the room. Brainy, you can just say whatever he wants. Why my calculations? You call me when you I'm right. Why do you think? Did you? Of course I didn't, because you've been useless. Tatiana. Oh, is he going to try and get information on him, not for Lex? Yeah. Something. So he wanted to get captured. Oh, <laughs> way to make an entrance, dearest. Oh dear. What is that? I thought it was kryptonite, but why does the deer? I suppose it's like there was no kryptonite on. Um, the original Earth had got rid of most of it, but... Well, at least Alice can probably get some now. 
Are they all dead? Like I used to feel. It Peace. counteracted it. It's all gone. Didn't work, Lena. Better abandon that brainwashing plan now. Oh my god. Oh dear. Rainy, that was useless. Magon! What was her plan? Dear, dear is gonna have to do some rebuilding. Uh, how many people have just been killed? You did a brilliant job as director. Ten out of ten. Macon's gone. We need to find him. Jean and Magon are out looking. Oh, they were evacuating, so they had the whole building and everyone safe. Hell, what are you doing in there with Ramakan? Tell the truth. That language? Right here, right now. <laughs> Sorry, it's got some musicals on my head. You can't pick a side, I'll choose one for you. I gotta go my own way. Remember, people, money matters. People don't. Oh, Lena, you got it. Well done, Lena. It doesn't work. Shocking. And it never could. Shocking. I am shocked. Are you shocked? I am shocked. Of being human of, of life and I was delusional to think that I could save people or fix it. I mean, yeah, to save people. Fix people. Humanity, right. always... Humanity doesn't need to be, need to be fixed. Controlled. Or controlled. Fuck off. Leviathan may be our biggest threat, but Did Lena really think Lex like thing... was good and wanted to help her? Humanity because if she did, she's so stupid. Some arrogant alien. It needs to be human. Yeah, but Kara's not trying to control or lead it, is she? She's trying to save it and help you. <gasps> Lena is so shocked that Lex is evil. If we just take our rightful place. We never change. Lena, did you actually... Did she actually think he'd... Oh my goodness, Lena. She refused to trust Kara, but she trusted him. You are so stupid for a genius. What did you think? You're a monster. I'm shocked and completely amazed that you have figured this out, Lena. I mean, yeah, about ten years too late to figure that one out, but okay. Rainy. Without Lena to build me a kryptonite suit, I have nothing. Luckily for you, Lena's gonna come begging. Who's they're actually gonna give them a future? How'd it go with Pete? Oh, yeah. He's now in hiding with his family. <laughs> oh, it, it's gone. I'm so sorry. Oh, and speaking of exposure. Got your desert facility I could go back to. What do you mean, like wear a mask? <laughs> Worked for my brother. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if she's not going to be Agent Alex Danvers, then she's probably going to need some kind of identity, that's why. Might as well go all the way. <laughs> we got the prisoners back in their cells. What do you want us to do with them? Kill them all. Yep. Burn it. Lena knew exactly who she was working for. She just painted the picture the way she wanted it. I wanted Romacon to be brought here. To get the kryptonite. Why are people so slow to be like Lex is evil? Kryptonite will make Supergirl's life miserable. William, what are you doing? Did they not tell you exactly who she is? Just <laughs> gonna pop up from the bin. Yeah. So how's this gonna go? How's the groveling gonna be? I have made. A terrible mistake. Yep. But I was wrong. Yep. It took me down a dark, dark path. Yeah. Remember that time when she was daydreaming was about punching Car in the face? To what I was really doing. And then wanted to brainwash the entire when world. Come. You were right. Yep. Through this whole time, I became a villain. And yep. Anyone who's been defending Lena, she says it herself. She became a villain. I knew that you will believe me right now. I mean, I feel like Lex is working with you'd have to try to believe her to a point. Use Obsidian to do something terrible. Using the system that I made with my brother. Yep. 
this is a first step, but I hope it's a first step telling you to leave in the show. I love Katie, do not get me wrong, it's nothing against her. Legs and Kara is an innately trusting person, so I feel like she'll probably take Lena. Uh, well, she'll accept Lena's help, maybe, but she'll be keeping an eye on her at all times. No. Because she knows Lena's been stupid and wrong this whole time. And now Lena's like, hey, I've been stupid and wrong. So that's a first step. Okay, so I am definitely, definitely glad that at the end, Kara didn't, like, give Lena a huge hug. and wasn't like, everything's fine, I'm so thankful that you've seen the light. You know, I'm glad that Kara was like, okay. Sit down. I hope that's going to kind of be the time. You know, she doesn't have to be horrible to Lena, but, you know, Lena shouldn't just be magically, magic wand. Oh, you've said sorry. Okay. It's all better now. Um, they do need Lena. And, you know, Lena, now I do. Like, I've never believed that Lena was like Lex kind of evil, but she was the kind of evil that genuinely thinks that her way is the only way that's good, which is still an evil way to be. Um, so I also think it is quite funny because I've had so many people over the course of my reactions to the season of Supergirl telling me that Lena is not a villain, that Kara is the villain. Lena herself was like, okay, so look, I've been being a villain, now I want to change, which Lena is a villain. I mean, now she's trying not to be, so now she's trying to be a reformed villain, but she was down the path of villainy. She was acting like a villain. Brainwashing people's minds is villainy. So I do feel like, yep. Yeah. Told you so. I mean, it was also inevitable that at some point towards the end of the season, and given that I think there would have been two episodes after this, maybe, she kind of, it would be around this time that Lena would come around and she'd apologise. I'm just glad that they didn't have, like I said, it'd be a magical one waved and their friendship is back because Kara, I'm glad that we've at this point now where Kara is angry at Lena, just because it's justifiable. The way Lena has been acting is unforgivable. Trusting Lex is stupid. Um, I have lost all respect for Lena as a character. I am glad, you know, I mean, the, the one, like, 0.0001% of respect I have for her is the fact that she came to Kara and she wasn't like, okay, call it, we both made mistakes, let's call it even, that she was like, okay, yeah, I've been, I've been a villain, I'm a bitch, I'm, I've been a terrible person, um, I'm really sorry, I want to help you, please believe me. So, like, I'm like, okay, that, you know, you get 0.0001%. 0.001% or I said of respect from me for that. I am still in a position with how Lena has acted this season. The fact that the season opened with Lena using VR tech to actually feel like she was punching <sighs> to actually feel like she was punching Kara in the face. Now I am someone that when I react I will make jokes about like oh I want to punch him in the face about characters I don't like but if you presented me the person I was like okay punch him I would be like um I don't actually want to punch him in the face, thanks. So I know even if it was, oh, like, oh, it's not real. I'd be like, yeah, okay, I still don't really want to punch him in the face. So the fact that, you know, Lena wanted to be physically violent with Kara, Lena has tried manipulation and some of her like arguments against Kara have been quite gaslighting it's just bad and not good. And if this show in next season is gonna have Lena be a best friend again, you know, work her way back onto the team and be a great, wonderful Lena Luther again, I am gonna struggle watching that. It might limit how many episodes I react to, or at the very least, it's going to limit the number of scenes in an episode I react to because I will be just there rolling my eyes at Lena because I don't know that you can join rejoin the team after this. I think what I would see, and it's not just me being angry at Lena this season, because I am someone that Lena has never been a favourite of mine because I've always been concerned she was going to be down the path she did this season, but she has been a character I have enjoyed. I have enjoyed her friendship with Kara. I have enjoyed seeing up until this season that depiction of such a strong female friendship where they just supported each other and that's something I hope that now they're going to build on with Nia and Kara I think that could be something really strong moving forward but I I don't think we need Lena anymore I mean for me I feel like she's almost gone down the path of villainy the best thing for her to do would be to leave this city to leave all the temptations to leave the bad memories and to go somewhere else and to start something new maybe go do charity work or something <laughs> you know actually use her billions to make a difference rather than trying to brainwash people that would be what i think would be a good way for lena to leave and then i would be open to lena you know coming back every now and then helping out from time to time in the same way that like Magan is back now um when came back etc you know i'm not if as lena has like seen the light although the light was staring her in the face she just was like covering her eyes um i'm not like lena needs to burn in hell because <laughs> i'm not actually like vindictive or anything but i also i'm just done with her as a character i think you know she can fix her mistakes this season i suppose she'll have to be around for the beginning of the next season as nothing is going to get properly resolved this season because of covid but yeah i hope that this is going to signal lena's departure from the show and that, again that is nothing against katie mcgraw i have loved her since merlin um i think she's a lovely person i 
think she's a brilliant actress. I don't know that her accents are the best, but like she's brilliant. I love her. But Lena is not a character that I'm here for anymore. Um, and in the same way that a lot of people try to excuse Morgana's actions in the later seasons, being hurt doesn't excuse becoming a villain. It can excuse you like cutting people out of your life that's fine but becoming a villain is too much so I think it was interesting to me that the thing that made Lena realize was that her experiment failed like that is a weird thing it wasn't that during one of her many conversations with Lex when she was like let's not kill innocent people and he was like probably not I can't promise anything that didn't make her see anything but it was the fact that her plan didn't work was the thing that that is another thing that has meant that it is only 0.001% because she had to like I don't know just she's so egotistical that she had to be physically shown that her plan was useless before she could be like oh yeah my, plan, my plan's bad wasn't it and then she was like oh yeah, actually it would be wrong to do that wouldn't it yes Lena yes it would <laughs> so I don't know I think it's quite in the, the way they've done Lena this season is interesting and I mean if they've been going for her being understandable this whole time and us like now rooting for her then they have done it wrong in my opinion and you know I'm not someone that I know that there was the huge sort of shipping wars but one side was worse than the other in that and I know that there were some people that shipped Cara and Monel who were horrible to people that shipped Supercorp I know that like it wasn't entirely a one-sided thing it was a largely one-sided thing but there were some bad people that way and I was never one of those people I've never been anti people making a fan fiction about a couple that they want to see together I mean like watching Batwoman I quite I love the idea of Luke and Mary and you know what if that never happens I will probably go and read some Luke and Mary fan fiction like it's fine but I'm not going to send hate to the writers or the actors if they don't do that um yes so that kind of the ending I'm just glad that Kara I'm just really proud of Kara because seeing Lena at your door the earth to slam in her face would be strong and then the urge to when she's like oh I'm really sorry I, I, I was wrong I've been a villain the urge to do what I was doing <laughs> being like yeah yes villain <laughs> um would have been quite strong to kind of be like yeah I told you but she just let Lena say her piece and then she invited her to sit down I'd be very intrigued to see what happened next um with that conversation I wonder if we're going to get to see that or if because they've had to sort of mash a finale together because I think that's the next one isn't it maybe we won't but I know I think I saw an interview with Melissa where she said something along the lines of it's not going to be just back to normal which is good their friendship can never be the same in my opinion because Lena's actions were so far outside of the bounds of the hurt friend and yeah I feel really I mean Lena's gonna be like oh, okay so yeah I've just seen that the prison I was in torturing prisoners in sorry experimenting on prisoners in has been exploded I mean she could have I don't know at least, hopefully, Lena will now never go evil again. So if we are stuck with her on the show, she could just be some pointless character I don't care about in the sidelines, rather than a villain. Because watching her be so superior to Kara when really she was being a villain the whole time was very frustrating. So at least that part of the show is done with, I suppose, that is a plus. Then we have Lex, you know, he's just been evil all the time. Rainy is finally seemingly just to be like, oh, maybe I shouldn't be working with this evil person. <laughs> um... But he's still going along with it. Lex now has an invitation to the ship. He's not Leviathan to be trusted. I mean, I don't fully trust that Lex isn't ultimately going to side with Leviathan if it gets him more power. And I think at the moment with Lex, it's probably his plan to somehow use Leviathan's resources or their power to give himself the power. But if they offered him a deal where they were like, oh, you can be like the all-powerful king of Earth, he'd probably be like, signed. I mean, so I, I don't trust him. And I've got no idea where the show's going to go next. William following Eve was stupid. I mean, from what Kelly said about her to him, he knows that she's not just some little assistant. Like, you know, if he was following me down the street, yeah, he probably would be able to follow me and I wouldn't notice. Or even if I did, the most I'd be able to do is run away. <laughs> but she was following Eve and he just casually did that. So I, I worry for him. I don't particularly care about him strongly, but I do like William. You know, I, d I just think he's not been in the show enough for me to like, or they haven't given his character enough time really to make me really really feel a bond with him but I do want him to be okay but I am worried about him less worried than I would be if it was basically anyone else I love that John and Morgan kind of had their romantic moment um I always felt sad that that never got explored further back when she was originally in it so I'm intrigued to see what's going on there is she going to become a regular on the show again or is they are they just going to be long distance lovers um because she's still doing I mean Mars is in a fairly stable place now so I guess that's where maybe she could stay I don't know Kelly, I think staying with the thing in the Obsidian is dangerous, but at the same time, I think that, that, you know, she's brave, she's willing to do it, but they need someone on the inside to be giving them information because she can access files and reports that's going to be really helpful. 
and it's all very stressful. I've probably forgotten stuff because a lot happened. Oh yeah, Ramacon, Ramacon exists. I, I don't know. The DEO exploding. Oh, yeah, that, the DEO is gone. Like the entire building is gone. I guess if the DEO had every single floor of the building, they did evacuate. So I am guessing no one died. But I mean, the DEO being gone, they literally spent season one in a desert facility. Now I know that was a different channel, but they have other resources. They aren't just one building. Maybe in this earth, they are just one building. But as the DEO as an organization, it's still there, like the agents are all still there and I'm sure their files were like backed up places. I don't know, so is the DEO going to be, is it just going to be like that set is gone or is the DEO going to be gone because that is a lot. <laughs> so yeah, this was a very intriguing episode. Um, I think we were meant to have two more episodes and we're going to have one more so I don't know where it's going to end. I'm so frustrated. I saw that article that was like, oh yeah, Lex was supposed to be thwarted in the finale but it's not going to happen so he'll be in the next season and I was just like, what have I done to deserve this? <laughs> but hopefully they will wrap him up in like the premiere of the first season. Um, I mean, like I said, Lex could be a villain that was in a prison somewhere and like once every three seasons popped up. I'm not anti-Lex. I'm not even, I think he's a brilliant Lex. I just still do not think he should be the lead villain in Kara's story. But yes, this was a brilliant episode. Kara was everything as always. Thank you for watching.